Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Summoner. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we killed Murad. And, um, everyone else is just kind of standing here. Not exactly sure why. Also, I had to kill my poisonous serpent because it was trying to kill me. Despite the fact that it totally looked like it was just chilling beside me. But I digress. This poison does come to an end, right? Um, speeds recovery from damage, speeds recovery from damage, that's a whole lot of not helping, but yeah, we got the Ring of Jade, which is helpful and that it allows me to summon up the Jade Golem, neat, is it the Preservation Ring, nah, whatever. Uh, am I now able to talk to one of you guys to let's get out of here? No? Alright. So I'm thinking I have to find Quifang, who may be just down here. I really needed to have it so as uh, Joseph here learned his own Management of healing spells. Like the not dying. That was a good spell. I mean, he's gotta have it, right? Cure. Yeah, Jesus. Joseph, not Jesus. I really ought to put heal onto the actual... Because I think that'll heal more than the other one. Yeah, heals a significant amount. Now that we have a new Empress, we must find the Dragon Scales that belonged to her father and all of the Emperors of Arrhenia before her. I found what you're seeking. Did I? Indeed? What have you found? After all you have done for the, the Empress and her daughter, they will not begrudge you this small token. The Dragon Scales are yours, Summoner. The what now? Dragon scales? I'm confused. Okay. I just need to find Kui Fang. Game, please, not this angle again. You Kui Fang? Yes, you're Kui Fang. I now reclaim the throne that was stolen from my father. You have avenged us, Joseph. Rod the usurper is dead. His four riders are no more. What must we do now? Return Mediva. Though you have freed the slaves of Arrhenia, Mediva remains in the grip of the Nuvarsarim. 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 The demons have ravaged the kingdom and now they threaten Arrhenia. Rod had, was an ally of the demons. As long as he lived, they would leave Arrhenia unharmed. But now you are all that stands between the future of our empire and its destruction. My people need me here, Joseph. The Rod's generals will attempt to seize power now that he is gone. The Jade Temple must remain strong. We will hold the empire together for the good of its people. Go to South Navar. The Kosani possess the knowledge of the rings. They will be angry with you, but do not forget that you are the Sahugani. I know a way. Are you prepared to leave? Sure, why not? Use the Ring of the Four Winds. The Dragon of the Ring will carry you to Sunabar. And when you return, I will give my crown to Sin Sihua. I fought this rebellion for her, and I will live to see her wear my father's crown. Good luck, Joseph. Though Murad's reign had ended, and all Orenia rejoiced, the summoner's quest was far from over. Medieval lay in ruin. The survivors of the demon's onslaught huddled among the blackened hulls of their villages, starving and terrified. Only the rings of the Kosani could stop the demons now, but these rings had been destroyed in the forge of Urath. And so the summoner journeyed back to Sanavar, the mountain of the wise. For if the Kosani could forge the rings anew, Nedeva might find its redemption. 
Boy, I would have loved to have been able to see us actually flying on the dragon. Just saying. Because Sally placed their faith in you, Sahagani. But you destroyed the rings. Do you believe you are so mighty to return to Sanavar and not fear us? I was deceived by the Demon of Darkness. Yes, the demons have a powerful influence on the minds of mortals, even those of virtue and strength. Pyrule, the demon of fire, now lies trapped in the labyrinth. One by one, the demon corrupts our people, turning us against each other. Even the Kusani cannot resist. The demon came to raise an army of Salamanca from the fires from Sanabar. From below Sanabar, with their magic, the Ulsadana and the elders sealed the demons in the labyrinth. Alas, the seals are weakening, and the demon's power over the Kosani reaches beyond his prison. Those corrupted by the demon are now trapped in the labyrinth with their master. You must speak to the Ulsadani. Go to the council chamber of Sahugani. What, just down this way? Done. Should be all the easier now that I've got a hundred full Kosani on my side. Actually, really quick, I want to see if there's any actual shops uh before the cutscene I was thinking to myself wait now I should have gone back into town really quickly Read ah here we are rings that do, do not help me great uh I got a shadow medallion plus three sneak plus three hide sell preservation ring Plus one dodge, plus one parry, plus 20 maximum health, I'll keep. I gotta see what it is that these ones do. Please, you're finally back in the party. Thank crap it. Identify, identify this shit. Plus three dark, plus three fire. That's none too shabby. Uh, there was this tome. Blah! New Vasarim Tome. Eight pages have been ripped from the tome, inscribed with the forgotten lore of the Nusavarna. New Vasarim, then. Evil sorcerers who worship Lahara. Book describes the journey and torment of the Archmage Mortankus. Okay. That was also a very expensive looking book. Also, this music. Uh. I'm sorry, Berserker Ring? Axe weapons plus three, blunt weapons plus three. So, anyways, uh, I suppose we should also find out... Oh, man. Oh, that medallion of... That medallion is actually really damn good. I'll... I'll... Hold off for the moment. I gotta actually buy some other crap. Namely, a butt-ton of healing potions, and probably a butt-ton of scrolls. Or tomes, tracts, whatever the hell they're called. Point is, I need a lot of them. Because that was pretty much the only reason I won against Murad. Okay, he does have tonics. Just does a little bit of healing, but we want elixirs. Think that might might be enough? Probably not. Okay. Um. <laughs> sorry. Uh, let's see. That, that should be relatively enough elixirs. I'm gonna get a couple of uh, scrolls revived just in case, though. If he has them, he does not. What's the penance of life do? He has a huge amount of damage. There we go. Alright. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. I want to say we're good. Uh, unless there's another character around here that has some um, scrolls of cast lightning a million times. That's pretty much all we need. A plethora of healing. I am somehow doubtful, though. This is fine. Nope. 
Don't somebody swap to Jakar simply because he was directly behind us. Alright. Save here. Uh, right. I can't form a new file anymore. So LP42. Man. Record so much that I'm actually finally looping back to the old saves. Feels weird. This is where I want to talk to, right? We were wrong to trust you, Sahugani. If you have foreseen your treachery, you would not have you would not have left Son of Ar alive. You must face your judgment. I was deceived. The consul listens as you explain how Makaval tricked you. You tell them how you escaped the Tower of Allah, defeated the Emperor Murad, and reclaimed the four dragon rings. How strange. All these centuries have passed and the Kosani never learned the fate of Ruka or these rings. After he vanquished the demons, Ruka disappeared. No word ever came to Son of Ar of his triumph or his defeat. You must now learn the origin of your power, Sahugani. Your people lost this knowledge long ago. The Hara destroyed Roth at the end of the third... that word. She failed, however, to destroy him entirely. The one god shattered into nine beings. Four demons, four dragons, and one Sahugani. Oh, I see where this is going. When Uroth died, the dragon and dragons and demons warred against each other in the chaos of 10,000 years. Had Rukar not captured the four demons, their battle would have destroyed all creation. The demons are the essence of Uroth the Destroyer, the usurper of the throne of heaven, the warrior whose sword split the world in half. The dragons are the essence of Uroth the Creator, the father of the Sudani, builder of the city of gods, the second emperor of heaven. The Sahugani is the essence of the Sudani, the people Uroth made in his image. This is why you and you alone have power over the demons and dragons. This is why the one born under the mark can wield the rings. You are part of a shattered god. Can I make some new rings then? Yes, the Kosani clan can make, make them, but rings alone will not suffice. You must enchant, enchant the rings with the words of Vatagar, although we have no power over the demons. The divine words written on the scrolls and tablets Vatagar gave the Kosani, these words are no longer in our possession. The Knights of Iona stole them from us many winters ago. If we are to make the rings, you must go to Iona, city of thieves, and return our sacred texts to us. Upon your return, the four rings shall be ready, and with the divine words we will enchant them. Then, Sahugani, you know what must be done. Yes, we have sealed the Demon of Fire in the labyrinth, but our magic grows weaker as the demon gathers strength. You must hurry, Sahugani, or we will be destroyed in the dawning of the second chaos. So, back to Iuna. So this is why they were so pissed off. I mean, it had sounded like the Iona priests had stolen something from them. Must have been a long while ago, though. Alright. So, Iona. Oh, hi. What do you got to say? Uh, oh, I already spoke to you. Never mind. You are unimportant. Enter the world map. Right, I know uh, that's gonna be a bit of a trek. Especially now that I think that the monsters around here should be significantly stronger. In theory, anyways. I mean, in-game shit, you know? Come on. Times where you wish there was a fast travel. When no random encounters happen whatsoever. Did I jinx myself? Yes, I did. <laughs> I was literally right there, too. Um. What? What is even supposed to be here? Oh. I think some of the... Eh. Eh. I know trust. To the world map, please. We're right there with Iona, so... 
All right, go to Iona. Find where these tablets are. Bring them back to the Kosani. It's snowing here. Oh. Hi, undead guy. That does 42 damage. Okay. Well, these guys came out of left field. Game, please. I have maxed out my swords. How the hell am I still missing so goddamn much? Oh, is that one beating on you? No, that one's already dead. Nope. Chop. With. Katana. Hundredfold steel. Yoink. I'm gonna presume that most anyone here that was in fact friendly is probably dead. Yeah, it's probably a safe bet. I have this feeling. This funny, funny feeling that says maybe, just maybe, I should summon up a Celestial Samurai or a Jade Colossus of some sort. Oh, a longsword. Oh, novel. Cast the same spell. Get walking. Faster we kill some of these guys, the faster I can do other things. And chop. Yeah, this katana is nothing to sneeze at. That said, I still would have preferred an axe. I yes, it's totally what I meant to click to for the fifteenth time. All right, you know what? Let's check out that new jade golem. Oh, hi, big guy. Welcome to the town. And yes, there is gold on the ground. My amount of care for it, though, is very, very little. Oh god, is this another case of the golem takes too long to go anywhere? Shit. I'm gonna have to use them in a boss fight. Well, that's a unique death animation. Hello. Hi. There's a lot of you. Mm, dab it. Poke it. Slash it. Nail it. Cut it. Oh, damn. Oh, we got a good swinging. Alright, big guy. Help us take out this guy. Never mind. We're good. Oh, hey, some books. Hmm. People in here are dead, aren't they? Would sure love to see them. Oh, come on. Sir, are you seriously going to burn up this place more than it's already been burned up? I got the feeling those tablets have been found and not by friendly forces. Oh, hello. Bow of Lanai. A bow I shall probably never use. You are currently waving at the... Okay. Now what? We got other things to worry about there. What? Where are you guys? 
Where the hell is everyone? You guys just... Alright. Oh, no, that's fine. Go fighting without me. Not like you need me or anything. Okay, maybe you needed me a little bit for a little poke. That random voice effect is a little jarring because I keep on thinking that, oh, hey, someone has... Someone else is here and, like, they're calling for me or some shit. No, it's just the game being a dick. Seriously, I gave you the revitalized spell for a reason. Making sure everyone's healed. I hate you. Alright. This... led to nothing. Have I told you guys I kind of just like the place of Iona? Because I kind of dislike the place of Iona. Dead priests everywhere. I'm about to get shot. That's great. At least I feel like I'm doing damage now. Okay, you, sir. Stop that. Please. Go and die. Took him long enough. Alright, so... Ooh, nope, not that way, like, apparently. Haha. <laughs> I really hope that I don't have to go into those ruins again. Maybe I have to go into the library. Oh, hello. I only just keep on noticing that my health is, like, super low when I get up here. Ow. Please move. So you can stop getting fireballed. I don't even know what that was supposed to be. <sighs> Healing. Oh, hey. Yago? Why are you living? Yago's face is a mask of grief. Abbot Laurent was right. I can never return to Iona. Iona is no more. The demon that possessed me has used, has no use for a frail creature such as myself. Makaval was now has what he wants. The rings are no more, the demons are free, and Medivh lies in ruin. The demon of darkness, the demon, the monster you summoned in Saran. With this cane, Yago absently traces a circle on the ground in front of him. I'm an old fool. I became an instrument of the very catastrophe I hoped to stop. My sacrifices were all in vain. The demon corrupted Galeen and Sornahan. Just as he had manipulated the four of you, Makaval seduced them with the infernal power of the Nivasarim. Possessed the secrets of Lahara's sorceresses, Makaval promised them, and fate shall be your slave. Time will grovel at your feet. He just restores the ruins of the great library. And so, with the knowledge of the monastery, the demon told Galeen where to find the writings of that dark heresy. Galeen stole the tomes of the Navasarim and returned to, Len to Lenel, where Sornahan and the demons had crushed Taruma Tarumun and the army of King Pelias. The demons besieged the monastery. Abbot Laurent and his all his monks could not repel their onslaught. It butchered the monks of this sacred order and plundered the great library. The labors of Kavardos have been undone. Tornahan and Galeen now possess the to- This is about my only real problem with this game, is that it just keeps on repeating the same thing as said just a few sentences ago. In their madness, they rule over the wasteland of Mediva. The, the agony of their people makes them grow even stronger. 
The Great Library is nothing but a ruin. If the scrolls survive the demon's attacks, you will find them in Lanel. You must confront Sornahan and Galeen. They will be expecting you. They have cast powerful wards in every corner of the city. You will never reach the palace alive. Unless... Unless Joseph and Fleece were to wait outside the walls of Linnell. You are the summoner, and they know now that Fleece is heir to Belias' throne. You're the one Sornahan and Galeen wants to destroy. The wards they cast are a difficult magic, and Linnell has many hiding places. If they believe the four of you will enter Linnell together, perhaps their wards watch only for Joseph and Fleece. If Jakar and Rosalind enter on their own, they might have a chance of reaching the palace. No, my journey is one I must undertake alone, and I'm no longer of use to anyone. Before we part ways, I must ask for your forgiveness. Kind of would have been more appropriate to provide me all uh, multiple choices there. Rosalind embraces Yago. I forgive you, Father. When we have defeated the demons, we'll rebuild the monastery together. If I live to see that day, Rosalind, you have my solemn promise. Farewell, and may the fates watch over you. I trained to read the language of the gods, dreaming of the day I'd pass through these doors. Now I visit a grave of a mother or father I never knew. A grave desecrated by evil men. Do you mind if we look around a little bit, see if there's anything more of use? Probably, probably nothing of use, huh? I mean, there's still a lot of tomes left. Ah, go back to Linnell. Does that mean that Rosalind and Jakar are going to be the ones that are going to enter the place alone? I won't lie, that's a little balls. Alright. I suppose it's about time to get out of here. Unless there is literally anything of value. I'm gonna lean towards no. Really hope the game didn't spawn back the monsters on the way back. They don't seem to have. Thank crap it. So I'm pretty much going to go back to the world map and then call an episode. Still, sucky place. Also, I didn't know that winter hit this place. I don't know. Something about being on the coast and it looking relatively warm made me think to myself, yeah. Doesn't look like any snow touches this place at all. Oh, there's no golems anymore. Perhaps they were too powerful. Alright. Roadmap time. So yeah. When we return, we're going to go from Iona to Linnell, where I presume the relatively final confrontation is going to take place. So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope, to, uh, hope that you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying it. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.